Uh, let's move on to question number seven. So, what is the formula for the surface of a cylinder? Okay, surface area. Um, so, a cylinder is basically a has two circles at the top, and it has a a surface that connects these two uh, circles together. Okay, so this is what it kind of looks like. Sorry for my terrible drawing. Uh, this is what a cylinder looks like. Okay, so it, it technically has three sides. Um, so we can break it up into these two circles and this huge long, um, I guess, area. So we can split it up into two circles, I guess you can say. So two circles. So, all right, two circles and a rectangle. Let's make this in yellow. Right, so um, a cylinder can be broken up <laughs> into, oops, into, um, oh, this is really big, sorry about that, let me change the thickness, uh, can be broken up into two circles and a rectangle, okay? So we know what the area of these circles are. It's going to be, um, area is going to be pi r squared for both of these. Right. But what about the width? Okay. So if we were to think about this, right? So the rectangle's length would be the height, right? So uh, it would be the height of this 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 um, this rectangle, I guess. So length is here, and the um, oh, I should write h. Uh, and the width is going to be the circumference of these circles, okay? Because they kind of wrap around the whole circle, right? So if you were to unwrap it, it would be like a, um, it would be the um, circumference, right? So it would be uh, two pi, okay? Cool, so now if we all add these together, so the uh, surface area of a cylinder would equal to be, uh, the area of these two circles, so pi r squared plus pi r squared plus the area of this rectangle, which is 2 pi r times h, okay? And if we were to uh, uh, simplify this, it would be 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. And if we were to simplify this further, we get 2 pi r r plus h. Okay, so that's the surface area of a cylinder. Okay, um, so this is also what the junior tutor got. They reasoned that the surface area is the area of these two circles and the area of the lateral surface, I guess you can say. They found out that the area of the base is just pi r squared. They times that by two because there's also a top. And then they reasoned that the width of the rectangle or the lateral is the circumference of the circles. And because of that, the area will be the height times the circumference of the circles, and then they added it all together. So the solution is correct. Good work. Cool. All right. Uh, so that wraps up today's lesson. Uh, I hope that you guys learned a lot today about uh, calculus and about uh, integrals. And specifically about calculating the lengths and the areas of curves and shapes by using integrals. Uh, so if you have any other problems with uh, your calculus or in, uh, your, your calculus, with any tests or any homework with that, uh, please submit them to one class. Uh, other than that, I hope you guys have a good evening, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.